the common wallaroo or wallaroo, also known as Euro or hill wallaroo. The word Euro is particularly applied to one subspecies the eastern wallaroo is mostly nocturnal and solitary, and is one of the more common macropods. It makes a loud hissing noise and some subspecies are sexually dimorphic, like most wallaroos. Walrus are not a type of animal that has one or two mating seasons throughout the year, but rather females can give birth at any time during the year. Through a process called embryonic diapause they are able to get pregnant whenever after giving birth, but the embryo doesn't start to develop until the previous joey is able to leave the pouch of the mother. Walrus are also polygynous, which means that the males can have multiple female partners. During the mating process fighting occur between males in order to attract a female mate. The fights normally don't end in one of the two walrus dying, but rather the two males will fight until one surrenders. The gestation period lasts around 30 to 38 days, after which the young joey travels into the mother's pouch where it suckles and develops. The young joeys start to leave the pouch at around 6 months and by 9 months they no longer spend most of their time in the pouch. Male walrus are fully developed at around 18 to 20 months while females are fully developed at around 14 to 24 months. The relationship with the joey and his parents changes as the joey grows and gets older. During the time in which the joey is in the pouch, the father stays around in order to protect the joey and mother from predators, but once this pro